Hey there, fellow wet shavers. Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I have a special shave for you today. In today's video, we will be featuring Never Alone 2. Uh, this is a collaboration to support National Suicide Prevention Month. And uh, this is a collaboration between the Razor Company. Um, I think Razor Ray did the artwork. Um, Justin the Red Island Shaver, uh, who, by the way, congratulations, just hit a thousand subscribers on his YouTube channel. I will link his channel in the description below. So if you haven't checked out Justin's channel, uh, please check out JMac. Uh, and then also uh, Peter Chakalis from Ariana and Evans did the soap and the splash for this. Uh, my understanding is made a large donation uh, and the proceeds will go to support both American and Canadian suicide prevention. Uh, there is a phone number here. Uh, I think it's going in the U.S. National Suicide Prevention Lifeline and in Canada, the Canadian Mental Health Association. Uh, there's actually maybe hard to see on here. I know it'll be backwards for you, but um, there's a phone number for the U.S. and a phone number for Canada for those of you who might feel you need uh, to make a phone call and know that you are never alone. So um, I had the original Never Alone that came out. I don't know if it was a year ago, but it was last year. So this was last year's label. Um, so you got a little updated label. So very cool label, very cool cause. Um, very happy to support this. This was available exclusively through the Razor Company, um, which I provided a link in the description below to that. I believe it's sold out. I don't know if there's going to be another run or not, um, <clears throat> but maybe there will be, maybe there won't. Um, but either way, uh, I just wanted to help support the cause help bring awareness uh, if you were not aware that this is National Suicide Prevention Month. And um, if you are feeling alone, to reach out either to somebody in the community, somebody in your family, or to even one of these helplines. So with that said, uh, I'm going to wet the face and get started here. Uh, by the way, uh, actually, before I do that, just wanted to point out, it came packaged really cool. Uh, I did have this Never Alone um, uh, tape on here. And then it came with uh, a cool sticker in the box, as well as a um, cool little band there, uh, wristband, one of those rubber wristbands uh, in the set as well. All right, so now wet the face, get started here. Hopefully everybody's doing well. It's been really crazy busy here. On my end, uh, not only with the pharmacy and the biz business, but also personally, kids getting back to school. Uh, my son, my daughter's going into second grade. My son started kindergarten uh, this year. So, um, and they start school pretty early, which is good for me because I can get them dropped off before I have to go into the pharmacy. But uh, definitely been busy on my end for sure. Pharmacy business is going well. We keep growing every day, which has been great. So this is in uh, the uh, K2E formula, which is the Kaizen uh, formula from Ariane and Evans. Uh, excellent, excellent quality product, as always, from Peter and A&E. I am using, by the way, sorry, I am using my Rockwell 6S on the three plate with the third use NASA blade in it. Um, I've got my um, Bull Goose, which is, a, which is a collaboration between Bull Goose Shaving and Alpha uh, Shave Works or Alpha Shaving. Um, and it's a synthetic um, knot on here and it's anodized with red and black on the handle. It's a aluminum, I think it's an aluminum handle. And then we are all lathered up in the Lancaster Razor Works bowl. So there you have it. Missed that in the top there. Uh, scent notes on this. Again, I don't know if you missed out on it, if there will be another run of it or not. Um, but if you are curious, the scent notes, this is described as a woody aromatic. So if you didn't pick it up, initially and they do do another run other than just plain supporting the cause uh, which is really why I picked it up more so than any other reason and uh, 
but the scent notes, I said described as a woody aromatic, bergamot, grapefruit, lavender, cardamom, caraway, tobacco, uh, sandalwood, oak moss, leather, and amber are the main scent notes on this. I won't talk a lot about the scent because that's not really what this is necessarily about. Um, although Peter did say that when he was working with Jason at the Razor Company and that they wanted something that would appeal to a lot of people um, that was somewhat cologne -y. And I do get maybe a bit of a cologne vibe from this. Um, to me, um, to be honest, it's not one of my favorite scents per se. Uh, and I think, to me, it smells somewhat similar to the original, uh, although it is slightly different. But when I was researching the scent notes, one of the notes on here is caraway. And I thought I was picking something up, and that is that caraway can smell like fennel or thyme or even anise, although it said it could be woody, so that might be why Peter threw it in here to add to the woodiness of it. And to me, that's a similar note as the original Never Alone. Um, and I don't have the scent notes from that original one, so I don't know what was in that, if it was caraway or it just had one of those other scents in it. But um, anyways, I can pick it up and it is a scent note that just um, is not in my wheelhouse. So I think that's all I'll say about the scent other than I guess if you wanna know scent strength, I'd put this probably at a medium, medium-ish high. So maybe a five to six. But great performing soap, great cause, and definitely some fantastic people that are behind this that I wanted to support. And of course the Rockwell 6S on the three plate is my jam, very quick, easy shave. And the NASA blade typically is my go-to. So by the way, uh, we are getting close to 800 subscribers. I think we're at 790 or something like that. So thank you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate the support. Those of you who have been around for a while or even from the beginning, thank you for your continued support as well. If you're watching my channel for the first time and you like what you see, hopefully you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. All of that helps the channel. Like I said, uh, JMac, the Red Island Shaver just hit a thousand. I'd love to hit that myself. Seems like a good milestone. And uh, so congratulations to you, Justin. It's quite an accomplishment, I think. And he's got a video up. He's giving away a Carve Overlander. Um, I just saw his video go up announcing. Uh, I think he's. I think it's announcing how to enter the giveaway. So very generous giveaway. So like I said, if you haven't checked him out, I'll link his channel, check out his channel. Definitely cannot go wrong with A&E. I haven't used A&E in a while. And uh, I could use it every day. For sure. So yeah, with the kids and everything else, the mornings are more chaotic. So it's been harder to get in a shave on camera, but I woke up slightly early today. This came in the mail yesterday. 
woke up slightly early today to try to get this video quick video in all right i think we are done there so i'm gonna rinse the face here splash on. I did get the matching splash. All right. And there's the matching splash there. Put my glasses back on so I can see. All right, like I said, uh, I do get the woodiness. I do get the aromaticness. Um, I don't really get a lot of the bergamot, grapefruit, uh, lavender. Uh, that must be very well blended. There's definitely not a citrus top to me that's really uh, perceptible on the no on my nose anyways. Uh, but overall, I think it's a scent that many people would like. Um, again, I think it might be the caraway for me personally, this kind of throwing it into the, I like it, but I don't love it uh, category. So, um, but scent strength on the aftershave, probably I'm gonna give it a, a six-ish on the scale of one to 10. So again, thank you everybody for tuning in. If you made it this far, again, um, I don't know if this is gonna come back out, but a great cause and um, mental health, although um, hasn't really affected me myself personally uh, very much. Uh, we all have times of ups and downs and need people to lean on, um, but it has affected my family and family members and people that are um, very near and dear to my heart. And it, it is, and mental health is, um, uh, issues are really difficult to deal with. There's something you can't see, um, and they're very hard to to fix many times. And um, so just know that, um, you know, if you need to reach out to somebody, reach out to your family. There's no shame in that uh, in how you're feeling. Reach out to somebody in the community. Uh, the shaving community has been great at supporting each other or reach out to one of the national hotlines uh, if you don't feel that you can do that. So um, never feel alone. So thank you for tuning in, folks, and we'll see you soon on the channel.